usfcougars.com here with Reed Arisman, director of track and field and cross country here at USF. Huge weekend for you guys. We broke a couple school records with uh, Sarah Trosher and Jada Carr tying for the 60 meter dash record and then Courtney taking over Bridget Gross for the top spot in the women's pole vault. What does that mean for uh, you and for your program? Yeah, it, was a, it was a great weekend, uh, I would say, especially in Coach Ernie's uh, jumps and sprints group. Um, you know, interesting how uh, Jada runs the prelims in the 60 and runs 784 and sets a school record. It was 785. And then Sarah comes back, and I think that a little, little, little bit of a fire under her and came back and ran 784 uh, to tie the school record. So uh, that was cool to see them share that. And then, yeah, Courtney, um, you know, she's every week, you know, she's just been right there at that 13 7 and 3 quarter bar, 13 9. And, you know, she was actually before the meet kind of complaining to me about the season that she's had so far and that she, you know, she thinks she should be doing better. And, you know, we went, you know, she went 12 2, 12 8, uh, 13 1, 13 5, and that was an indoor PR. And then we went 13 7 and 3 quarters and uh, beat Bridget's school record. So uh, that was really neat. But again, Wayne's crew, uh, Jada, you know, she jumped 19 1 um, in the long jump. Uh, Jessica Justin in the triple and uh, in the 200. I think she's second all time in the 200. I mean, it's. Uh, Jess is really, uh, it's just been really fun to see her come around in this year, her junior year, to, to see the success that she's had. Um, so it was it was a great, I mean, Teddy uh, went 824 in the 60 meter hurdles. That was a, a second uh, all time, that was a PR for him. So uh, just a really good meet uh, across the board. A lot of our you know, top guy distance runners didn't compete this weekend. Uh, but I think on, on, on the year, we've had nine school records at this point and then 69 top 10 marks. Our goal was eight in, uh, school records and our top 10 marks was 50. So it's always exciting when you set out at the beginning of the year with goals and, and meet those goals. And you mentioned Teddy again, breaking, the, or not breaking, but setting a PR again. He's back in action this weekend as the, the first snippet of the NSIC championships with the heptathlon and pentathlon going on Sunday, Monday. What can we expect out of him? Man, he he is looking awesome. He ran uh, the second leg of that 4x4 four four this weekend and looked strong. I mean, looked really good. And uh, I don't know, we, we hope to improve on his 5,080, uh, be a 5,100 to try to secure his spot uh, at the national meet. We, we hope, you know, that, that we can win the, the conference championship if things go well. And, um, you know, he's just in a good place. I think he feels good. I think he mentally is in a good place. And, uh, this is a good, did an awesome job of leading our men's program this year. So uh, we're excited to, to, for him and Luke uh, Sunday and Monday this, this weekend. And you mentioned a, a few men's athletes sat out this past weekend, some pole vaulters and some distance runners. Are they looking to go this weekend when you guys go up to Brookings? Yeah, we have kind of set Jace, uh, Jace Kraft and Mason Phillips and Billy Beesman uh, and, and Zach Lundberg to see what they can do in the mile and see if they can you know, we're probably thinking it's going to take 406, 407 to get to nationals, and, and they're hoping to run that uh, this weekend uh, with some really good competition up at SDSU. And um, and, and our balters, you know, Jake and uh, Jagger and Scott all went down to the Husker invite this last Friday and um, didn't perform as well as they would have liked to in front of that environment with guys from Kansas and Nebraska and all over the United States. I mean, they were, they were ready to go. It just uh, we didn't do well, so I know they're going to come out this week. Uh, ready to go and, and uh, ready to do well. All right, Coach, uh, thanks for catching up with us, and good luck Friday and Saturday at uh, SDSU Jackrabbit Open. Thanks, Eric.